السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome again in our journey in living in the past the life of some of the women who helped build our ummah, our nation. Today, I'm taking you through a woman. Many of us don't even know her name, but we all know her son very well. Al Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, very well known, jurist. محدث in a very well-known narrator of the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam sayings, imam in language, imam in the Quran, to the point that Imam Shafi'i said, his teacher, when I left Baghdad, I left a man who's a leader in seven discipline of knowledge. He was referring to Imam Ahmed. He was a leader in hadith and the sayings of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam He's a leader in the Sunnah. He is leader in Quran. He's leader in Fiqh, Jurist. He's leader in Zuhud, Ascetism. And he is also leader in Piety. Now going back to his mother and her contribution in bringing up this leader. So his mother, Safiya, bint Maymuna, bint Abdul Malik, bin Shayban, She actually comes from a very good lineage. Her father was from Banu Shayban and go back to Banu Amr. Her grandfather was a nobleman and she grew up in a privileged way. She got married young and delivered one son, Al Imam Ahmed. However, her husband died at a young age. She became a widow in her late. 20s. She refused to get married and dedicated her life to the son. Life changed from being a woman who grew up in privilege to a woman who have barely the minimum. Her focus was raising her child as a knowledgeable, pious man. And indeed, she got her goal. Many of the stories about the raising up of Imam Ahmed came from him. And he used to say the following, my mom used to wake me up before Fajr. I was about 10 years of age. She will warm the water for me before I am up. We both make wudu. We start praying till Fajr time comes, 10 years of age. And she takes him with her to the masjid to pray Fajr stays with him because usually there is classes or halaqas, as we say, after Fajr. And she stays with him till he finish the classes, mainly classes of hadith. Then she takes him back home. He said the following about his mother. My mother was not only my mother. My mother was my teacher. She taught me language, Quran. She taught me history. She taught me All what I need to learn about characteristics of Arab nobility. But above that, what she taught me, and this is because we didn't have much of the means to live comfortable as she was growing up. She taught me how to be patient, how to live with the minimum. Al Imam Ahmed was very well known. He lived a life of ascetism. He didn't care much about this life. When he became an age a little bit older, now she used to send him to the masjid alone. He used to beg her to go early because there was classes also before the Fajr. She wouldn't. She would stay with him in the house till just before Fajr. And then she said, you go. And he said, the reason she did that, she loved me so much and she was worried about me to go alone before Fajr. But once Time became close to Fajr. Many men were walking in the street and she trusted me to go alone. Now, this is a woman, a widow, who devoted her life to her son. Once he learned everything he can learn in Baghdad, where they were living, she decided to send him abroad to study. So she opted to sacrifice the love of her son, the presence of her son with her for the knowledge So she will give this son all what he needs from knowledge 
And we all know learning needs travel. So she said this to him as she sent him to Medina and Mecca and Yemen to study. She said to him, oh son, travel to seek the knowledge of the Prophet, peace be upon him. As indeed, traveling to seek knowledge is migration for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She had minimum. So she was packing him and getting him ready to leave. She packed minimum that she has. And she looked at him and says, Oh son, indeed, when Allah is entrusted with something, he preserved it. And I am trusting you with Allah that his trust will never be lost. Single mother, only child, loved him dearly, sent him to go and study, sacrificed the love, the son, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He started traveling, Mecca, Medina, to Yemen, and many other places. And he became one of the most influential scholars in the history of Islam. The mother of Imam Ahmad died when he was in his 30s. And he used to say, the most influential teacher I had was my mother. And she taught me not only knowledge, but she taught me how to live in this life with minimum need, with focus on Akhira and focus on Allah. May Allah bless her and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all mothers of knowledgeable, strong, impactful children. Oh.